Welcome to Panama City. Panama City was made famous by the construction of the Panama Canal. It is the entrance to the historic waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It's a modern city with an impressive skyline of new age high rises and historic architecture. Many people simply cruise through the Panama Canal, but it's worth spending a day or two to explore its historic center and welcoming hospitality. We are touring Panama Viejo and the ruins behind me date back to 1519 and they were in use until 1671. Now the Spaniards, they ruined these, uh, they sacked them themselves and burnt them and then they moved everything to the new city of what we know as Panama today. So this is pretty interesting to come by and see. We are at the main cathedral, which was really the heartbeat of old Panama. Uh, this was, you know, where all of the festivals took place. This was the main cathedral. This was where all of the rich people lived. If you lived close to the cathedral, that means that you were wealthy. So the closer you were, the wealthier you were. walk up to the top of the cathedral tower for a panoramic view of Panama. It's fantastic. And they do have the tourist steps made so you don't have to go through the old traditional ones, which look like they would have been quite an adventure. A trip to Panama would not be complete without visiting the old city and it is developing rapidly. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's a lot of historic buildings to visit. Dating back to 1673, Casa Viejo is a must visit district when going to Panama. There are many crumbling buildings being turned into five star boutique hotels. There are cathedrals to visit. You can check out the historic Society of Jesus that can only be viewed from the outside. There's Independence Plaza and the Iglesia de Marcad, which houses an impressive permanent nativity scene. There are many eateries, cafes, and musicians. Street vendors are lined along the waterfront, and it is here that you can purchase a Panama hat. Fun fact, Panama hats are actually made in Ecuador, but they became famous as Panama hats after President Roosevelt was photographed wearing one while visiting the Panama Canal in 1906. We're here at the Panama Canal and it's a bit crazy, but it's really, really impressive. We're here at the Pacific entrance of the locks, which is the Mia Flores locks, and there's actually three sets to get you from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. It's pretty cool because 35 to 40 ships come through here a day, and they've built, you can just see behind me, they've actually built a bigger one that takes bigger ships. Only five ships go through, but they can take up to 14,000 containers. Pretty impressive. It's pretty wild being here at the Panama Canal. This is one of the seven industrial wonders of the world and I can understand why. It's pretty amazing and wow. It's still very popular. There's a lot of people here to see it. Cool interactive museum here. The Miraflores Locks has a museum telling the history of the Panama Canal. If you can't make it out there, there's another museum located in Casca Viejo in the former headquarters of the French and U.S. companies that constructed the canal. If you do come here, make sure you get up to the fourth floor, check out the amazing view, watch the ships come in and out, but also get down to the museum because it gives you a great idea of how things were built, the struggles that everybody went through, and it's quite interactive. A great highlight here in Panama. One of the nicest things you can do here in Panama is to go for a walk along the waterfront. They've got a great running track. They've got some lookouts where you're overlooking the causeway and it's a great view of the city and the breeze is spectacular. 
If you come to Democracy Plaza here in Panama City, it has a beautiful view of uh, old, the old city. It's also a little respite from the traffic here in the city. When in Panama, you really need to take in the views of the skyline and modern skyscrapers. The best places we found for viewing was at the top of the JW Marriott Bar on the 65th floor and at the Hard Rock Hotel. Panama City is a surprising destination that will keep you busy for a couple of days before you head off to the islands, one of its nature parks, or board a cruise. So when you do go to Panama, be sure to include this ever-expanding city in your itinerary. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell because we put up new travel guides and videos each week and you don't want to miss a thing.